Hey, what's going on Fight Simmers? My name is Roro, and today we will be bringing you the best Sim Update 6 Freeware Scenery Airports. Now, in this video, we will be focusing only on the airports, but if you would like us to make further parts of this video that includes meshes, cities, or even freeware aircraft, then let us know in the comments below. But before we do look at the first airport, we would also like to thank you all for helping us grow so quickly. We have almost doubled our subscriber count in the space of two weeks and we cannot believe how supportive you all have been. So you know what I'm going to say, make sure you click on that like, subscribe and ding dong that notification bell and let's see how far we can really take this. So moving into the video, all 10 of these airports I have personally used and tested meaning that they are all Sim Update 6 compatible. But in this video I will only be showcasing 6 of them as I believe the other 4 have still got some work that needs to be done to them. However I do have to say the quality of these airports are absolutely amazing especially with the amount of time which has gone into them. Heck if I was the leading developer for one of these airports I personally would have gone the payware route because of how great these airports are. To start off we have Alicante or Lima Echo Alpha Lima by Hergie1234. We have previously showcased the scenery on our channel before, but because of how great it is, it had to be included in this list. Now Alicante has also been updated since we last showed it and fixed some terrain bugs, but this airport is just too stunning to not show. Now to save a waffling for each of the airports, I've created lists of all of the current features. For Alicante, the current features are custom models of a new main terminal, which include the old Terminals 1 and 2 and the ATC Tower, extensive ground markings around the aprons, custom parking spot textures and corrected parking and gate location numbers. There's also been extensive changes with the taxiway markings and custom taxiway textures. We also have custom runway markings and textures, custom night lighting, terraforming improvements and finally static scenery objects such as boarding stairs, baggage carts, shuttles and etc which are placed all across the airport. So that's it with the features and as you can already see from all the b-roll which I've already previously displayed and currently showing right now, this airport is definitely a must have in your community folder. The location is absolutely perfect for flying around Europe and discovering new places. So that's it for Alicante. Next up we have Istanbul or Lima Tango Foxtrot Mike that's located in Turkey. This is the new airport hub for the Turkish Airlines and also would be set to be the world's biggest airport in the future after completion of all of its phases. Now this airport was created by Malio and it features custom modelling and textures on the main terminal, extraordinary night lighting in and around the terminal, amazing use of PBR texturing especially on the translucent glass, updated taxiways and aprons with clear lines painted, interior modelling and texturing including an almost perfect to scale check-in area, and finally great use of weathering and aging effects across the airport ground. So all great features and it sums up an almost perfect airport. Now I do stress that I am saying it is almost perfect as there are still some things which needs to be tweaked, much like all the other freeware airports as well. But this one is still an amazing product and will definitely keep you happy and discovering new things every single time you visit there because of how big of a scale the airport is. The next airport we will be looking at is Oslo or Echo November Golf Mike which is in Norway. This airport was created by Captain Westad and is one of those airports which is popular but not popular enough on flightsim.to to be promoted on the front page. This means Unless if you actually have been told about this airport, you most likely have never heard about it. But trust me, this airport is a dark horse. It is amazing freeware airport and is so underrated. Now this airport features added up to date aprons and taxiways around the northern pier and other locations. And has added numerous new taxiways, replaced every single stand, added and reworked modern jetways, for every single gate as well, added detailed material textures, replaced every single center line and edge lines, and replaced multiple auto-generated buildings, and has finally added loads of detailed fencing and lighting across the airport. And that's it with the features, loads of exciting parts, especially for a freeware add-on. Now I would especially recommend you to go download this airport, not only because it is absolutely stunning, 
but with the pairing of the airport and the recent world update in the Nordic region, it really makes a stunning approach all the way down from 38,000 feet to zero. Moving on, we have Helsinki Airport or Echo Foxtrot Hotel Kilo in Finland. This airport was created by Xperi and carries roughly 22 million passengers a year with their unique styled stands. Now, I do not have a big list of features on this airport purely because the developer hasn't stated them and it is also very difficult to accurately state all the features by eye, considering how big of a surface area I'd have to cover. But what I do have is that this is an accurate and updated airport layout. It has custom made detailed building including terminal 1 and 2. Custom animated jetways as I was stating before, but unfortunately they are currently inoperative. And finally, it also has detailed ground textures and a completely remapped layout. Now, I know this airport isn't the biggest and it is still a work in progress, but it is still a very exciting approach and still looks amazing. Now, the creator also recommends that you download the hype maps, which I will also link with the airport below, and also insists that you are using the World Update 5 Nordics update from the marketplace to immerse you to its full potential. Other than that, that's it for Helsinki. For the final two airports, I have kept them to the end not only because I believe they are the best freeware airports currently available, but because of their geographical location being in the United Kingdom. The first one of the two is London Stansted Airport or Echo Golf Sierra Sierra and was created by Liam. Now, although this airport isn't currently too popular in the sim, but with PMDG releasing the 737 soon, this airport, I believe, will become one of the most popular airports in the sim, purely because of Stansted being the main hub for Ryanair. Now, this airport does feature high quality and accurate 3D models of the main terminal, satellite terminals, NATS tower, cargo terminals, and the Ryanair and Diamond hangar. All assets are well textured, including night lighting, we have bespoke and highly detailed 3D models placed around each and every gate including signage and custom baggage vehicles. Gates are fully functioning but they are currently using default jetways but that's not really an issue because the default jetways do already look similar to the jetways at Stansted. We also have some animated vehicles throughout the whole of the airport. We have accurate custom ground markings, apron textures and taxi markings that are hand placed. We also have up to date 2020 constructions including the new Apron Echo, the multi-storey car park and the realistic construction sites. All of the gates have been hand placed to reflect all the real gate numbers and we also have accurate landscaping across the entire airport including on the runway, some PBR and nighttime emission texturing throughout the airport and also a complete perimeter fencing. Now the list is much longer but I had to really shorten it down or otherwise I would probably be talking for a few couple minutes. But anyways, that is it, and it is an impressive list of features, especially for a freeware airport, and we cannot complain one bit about it. In my opinion, I already believe that this airport is 10 times better than what we had even available in P3D from UK 2000. So yes, this airport is amazing, and if you don't have it already downloaded, what are you doing? Because you absolutely need this airport in your community folder right now. Finally, we move to our final airport. And I already think we all knew what airport would be the best one before even watching this video. But I would still like to break down this airport, as it's only fair since I've done it to all the other five airports. And I can finally reveal that the final airport is... London Gatwick or Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, created by MKVY. Since the beginning of this year, I don't actually think this airport has left the main feature page on FlightSim.to because of how advanced this airport is for a freeware add-on. Now, I know this airport still isn't perfect yet, but they are still working on it with consistent updates and it does appear that they are aiming to achieve that perfection they have been pushing for over the past 9 months. Unfortunately, I could not find an official list of features due to their constant updates. However, I will just mention the obvious and most useful features which the airport currently has. So, all of the stands at Gatwick has been updated with the correct locations and directions. It also has their own work in progress custom visual docking guidance system, which is a very uncommon thing which we see in sceneries. 
They have a fully recreated terminals, which is both north and south. They have animated custom vehicles, so these are service vehicles, trams and trains, which travel both inside and outside of the airport. All taxiways have been restructured and repainted with the correct and updated signage. We also have static custom ground vehicles and equipment placed at all stands. And obviously one of their best sellers for Gatwick is the amazing night lighting and PBR texturing. It is just absolutely outstanding what you can achieve, especially as a freeware developer. So that's it for Gatwick, I know the list wasn't as long as Stans did, but like I said we don't have an official list. But as you've seen in the b-roll, this airport is absolutely the best freeware for MSFS. This isn't just because the airport looks the best, but also because of their constant updates it receives to bring that extra step to it looking like a one-to-one -one remake of the real airport. Now, although there is a payware version of Gatwick, which also looks astonishing, but if for any reasons you decide not to purchase it, this freeware is a very close runner-up in terms of deciding what scenery you want. And that's it for the list which we currently have, but as I said in the beginning of this video, I did mention that I had 10 airports available, and that's because these final four are good, but they're just not there yet. Although they are still 10 times better than using default scenery, I did not feel comfortable showcasing an incomplete product. But that doesn't mean that they are bad at all, as you can currently see from the footage on the screen, they are still great looking airports. But, like I said in the beginning of this video, all airports will be linked below in the description, and I truly hope you download them all, because they are all worth it. Heck, they're all free, so you're not really losing any money, so if you don't want the airport or decide you don't want it at a later time, you can always just uninstall them. Also before we end this, this video did take some time to create because of all the research, testing and, and recording that was required to bring this video together. However, if you would like to see more similar videos like this, where we talk about freeware aircraft meshes or just general add-ons, then let us know in the description and we will get on it straight away. But that's it for today guys, we really hope you did enjoy this video and don't forget to click on that like and subscribe button. My name has been Roro and you have been watching Information Alpha.